Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Hengdal Chitta. So this is a, a little bit of a surprise in an extremely informal setting this evening. I was thinking about that, uh, that expression, once the other shore is reached, the raft may be discarded. And that's often used uh, for a teacher to describe the path of liberation once the Tori is reached and, and in the normal process seeking way that, that we have, we even at that kind of miss the point of letting the raft go and we concentrate on all of the things we have to do before we get there, the, the practice. And the practice is certainly important, but we, we liken it to a series of steps that are undertaken. We have, to, we have to gather the materials and we have to gather the cordage and we have to make our raft and, and we have to get on the raft and pull it across to the other side. And, and these are all very useful analogies, again, for, for the daily practice. And the practice is extremely necessary. One doesn't cross without the practice, without right effort, without the, the great faith, the, the great devotion, the great doubt. But there's this other great story. And a young seeker is on his journey and as he travels, he comes to the side of a very swift river and he's standing there and he's looking at the river and he doesn't know how to get across. And the river's running and, and he doesn't think he can wade across and he can't swim and he looks and there's, there's, no, there's no trees and nothing to cut them with anyway and there's no cordage and there's no pole and, and He's really not sure what to do. And so he's just sitting there on the edge of this river, meditating and waiting. And he sees a great master on the other bank. I always wonder in those stories, you know, how, how you know they're, they're a great master. I don't know if there's a sign flashing or it's, you know, the color of the robe. But, you know, we, we take that as red that he recognizes this, this master and he calls across the river to him and he says, Master, can you help me? How do I get to the other side? And the master stands there and he looks up and down the river and he looks across and he says, Son, you're already on the other side. And I, you know, I think about that one and, and, that's not to say that, that we're all just, you know, walking around, you know, little, little uh, pieces of floatsome, you know, eating some lettuce here and there, and, and we're already arrived. And, and, uh, but it's, it's our hangups on those steps, on, on even creating the raft, when we use these analogies, on even using the analogies. We, we always get hung up and tied up on the descriptions we use to try and explain what we're doing and how we're doing it and what we're going to do when we attain something, if we attain something. And sometimes I, I, you know, I hear a story like that and I think about the simple thing like your glasses. And if you're um, of a vintage that many of us are, you know, you can walk around for an hour having a fit and saying, damn it, we're... I, I just had them and, and you're walking around the house and you're like, it, they were right here and it, it's not on my desk and, and you get your keys and you go out to your car and it's not in the car and you, you look on the sink in the bathroom and you look on the bed and you're crawling under the couch and then, oh, shoot. Wow, I can see now. And I think about how much of our lives and our time we spend doing just that. We're so focused, so concentrated, so fixated, 
on our goals and steps and objectives and rafts and teachings and jobs and families and problems and why does my toe hurt i don't remember hitting my foot last night and my toe hurts and i don't know what's going on and we can't see anything and then it's oh there there's my glasses i'm on the other side it's all clear now we just have to watch we have to be careful even in our own teachings, even our own analogies, even in our own minds, not to get caught up in the delusion and fool ourselves with thinking that it's something over there. It's, it's something at the end of our journey instead of realizing it's something that is what this journey is doing right now. And if we're mindful, if we're open, how we're living this journey right now in this moment, because ultimately that is the only ground we have upon which to work and to act.